वेलकम बैक गाइस इन लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट चेंजिंग वर्ड प्लस यूजर नेम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वर्ड प्लस सिक्योरिटी एंड वी विल टेक सम नेसेसरी मेजर टू मेक इट मोर सिक्योर बाय डिफॉल्ट वर्ड प्लस इज ओपन टू हैकर्स एंड वेरी वेलनरेबल सिंस इट्स ओपन सोर्स सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एनी थिंग फ्रॉम इट बट यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इट we have got a solution for that uh it might protect your wordpress well enough we can tighten our security through some plugins which we are going to discuss in our tutorial today so first we need to log in to our wordpress this is wordpress default settings and uh, then we have to go to plugins under plugin you will find add new click on add new so before uh, installing plugin we should see uh, some options which wordpress has provided us regarding security there are lots of plugins but we need to see which plugin is better for us so we have rating system which will tell you the popularity and trust of a particular plugin uh wordpress has jetpack and uh, other security software but personally i prefer word fans our websites were attacked by several hackers last month so it usually happens often so we tried each and everything here we secure our password with more strong password i mean in the username and install some other antiviruses as well we contact contacted the hosting service about the vulnerabilities they said that wordpress is your headache we cannot do anything about it so we found some security uh, plugins and those security plugins were not working at all still we felt that our wordpress is, was not secured so after some research we found this wordpress security firewall and malware scan which is good better than others so i would prefer same for you so today we are going to see how it works and how to install wordpress security so just click on install button and it is installed now activated after activation uh, the first screen of wordpress uh, wordpress is displayed here you just need to enter your email address email address uh, they are asking because if they find any vulnerabilities or security issues in your website or wordpress blog so they will send you an email regarding the vulnerability you have to check your email they sent or you have to take the necessary measures now click on continue here they are asking for the premium license if you want to buy wordfence that's good but uh, if you don't want to buy it just click on no thanks link and you are done after that i recommend you to uninstall the default plugins like here we have uh, a kismet anti spam classic editor hello dolly limit login attempts just simply deactivate these default 
plugins i am also deactivating the easy username updater which we installed in last video for changing username it is no longer required now and deactivate the classic editor as well okay once you have deactivated all plugin just click here to select all plugin but wait uncheck the word fence security we have to use it this uh, after unchecking word fence security go to bulk actions and select delete and apply it will delete your old plugins default plugins which is not required usually these plugins are vulnerable also because they might not receive the updates periodically so it is recommend to uninstall all default plugins now in plugin section we only have wordfence security which is good now on left hand side you will find wordfence at the bottom of the page here you need to go to dashboard in dashboard you will find the tips and tricks screen just close it if you want to learn the word fence thing so just click on next it will uh, tell you the whole story it will guide you through the rest of the process so we don't need it we just summarize it with see simple options major options we don't have to study the whole word fence thing now here you can see the word fence firewall option which is not uh, activated by default we need to activate by clicking click here to configure after click here to configure uh, you will see this uh, window optimize word fence firewall here you need to download the default htaccess file which has url settings and all just for the uh, security or default file original file we need to download then click on continue then close okay it says your uh, firewall is in learning mode it has learned 55% of your website so it will be 100% soon it means that your wordpress firewall is okay and working well now you will see this message do you want to update your wordpress uh, wordfence word automatically so just yes enable auto update it will automatically check for updates and keep your wordfence plugin up to date okay next thing we need to go to dashboard again and uh, here you will find scan scan thing that is 60% done so click on is uh, manage scan go to advanced scan options here you can exclude files which you don't want to uh, scan like if you have custom theme or another other plugins you build by your own which you trust so you can mention it here in this box and um, scan signatures if you want to scan some specific code or if you don't want to scan a specific code so you can mention the code here then uh, click on standard plan which is by default selected that is okay now we have to click uh, here scan button under the firewall to scan your current website just close it 
this help now we have a start new scan button here click on start new scan which will thoroughly scan your wordpress files you can see in uh, infected or repairable files here in the scan list which are categorized with the severity like this says that delete me something dot php uh, the word fans found it critical so you can uh, you delete this file from file manager by logging into your c panel or ftp because uh, wordfence has uh, no right or permission to your uh, file system so you have to delete it manually now uh, here uh, we have uh, another wordpress file which is in include folder it says uh, issue found something uh, but the severity is high not critical critical is very bad thing but high is something you can handle uh, we have a repair link here which can be repaired also if uh, there are more repairable files with this uh, repair option or you don't have to uh, you don't want to click on each and every repair manually we have here option repair all repairable files once you click this button it will all it will repair all repairable files and you don't have to repair each file manually now these are uh, some more files but the severity is low so you don't, uh, don't have to worry about these files you can simply click ignore so on next scan these file won't be displayed anymore and we have other option here delete all deletable files so sometimes it uh, finds some unrelated file which is not uh, related to wordpress so if it finds those files it will say delete uh, instead of repair so you can delete that file if you find uh, it useless otherwise just keep it if you think it's trustworthy that's it uh, we are done our security is good it says uh, warning sign from file changes uh, because we just change our file and it is it is still here we have i like i already said you said that you have to click this uh, file i mean delete this file from file manager so you have to log in to your file manager first then delete this file manually because what uh, what friends cannot delete this file right now once you have deleted this file you can scan your wordpress again so this uh, warning sign won't be displayed again this also might not uh, be displayed so you can check later so we are done i hope you learned something today we will get back to you with our next video thank you bye bye